Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to another class. So, in our today's class, we will explain uh, probability math. This problem has been taken from previous year BDMO questions. So, let's, let's read out the problem first. There are seven balls in a bag, while three balls are red, two balls are white, and two balls are blue. See, I'm picked two balls, one after the other from the bag. That means Siam picked one ball from the back at the first and again he picked another ball from the back. The probability that both balls are of the same color can be expressed as A by B. So the problem asked the probability, that is the total probability. That if he picks uh, the red ball at the first, he has to pick the red ball in the second time as well. So this is like, the problem is like this. So let's uh, draw a bag first so that you can imagine it very clearly so let's uh, suppose there are three balls are red and two balls are white so let's mark the white balls at first so these are the two balls the white two balls and there are three red balls as well so let's uh, mark with the red colors the three balls are red and again two balls are blue so mark the blue balls as well Okay, so how many balls are there? There are total seven balls in this bag. And Siam, he is thinking that he will pick two balls from the bag and, and he, try, he is trying to find out the probability that both balls will be of the same color. It might be white, it might be red, or it might be blue. So, there should be a formula for probability, right? Okay. If you don't know, I'm writing it down now. Probability. This is the formula. So, probability, we express probability with a fraction, right? So, on the upper side, that means in the numerator, we have total favorable outcome. Am I right? Favorable outcomes. And in the lower side, we have total possible outcomes. So, this is the basic formula of probability. We all should know this. Total possible outcomes. If you don't know it, just memorize it right now. We'll use it in our next problems. And in the next problem, so if you try to solve any probability problem, you must know this basic formula. So with this basic form formula, we can solve this problem. The problem is a, you can say this is a huge problem. You know, if a problem is, it seem, if it seems a little bit bigger, then the solution is a smaller, you know. So, we will solve it step by step. At first, we will think the balls will be red. Both balls will be of which color? Both balls will be red. Suppose, for the red balls. Suppose Siam put his hand in the bag and he, after picking the ball, he saw it a red one. So, what is the probability for the first time that the ball will be red? So, look at the formula. What, it, what does it say? Total favorable outcomes, then total possible outcomes. So, what is the total favorable outcomes? There are three red balls. That means total favorable outcome is three, and total possible outcome is seven. That means that there is a total. There are total seven balls in the bag. That's why we wrote seven in the denominator. Again, in the second attempt, so one ball he already picked it, picked up. So, this ball, suppose he picked up. That means there are only two balls left. So, in the second item, total favorable outcome is 2 and total possible outcome is 6 because he picked this ball already. Now, think about the dependence law. So, the event for the first event and for the second item, these events are mutual. That means these events are dependent on each other. So, we will just make a product of these two events. So, what is the total probability? 
for the red balls. So we'll multiply these two probability 3 cross 2 is 6 and 7 cross 6 is 42. In the same way we'll try to solve for the white balls. This is for the same. So the total number of white balls is 2. The total favorable outcome is 2 at the first time and total possible outcome is 7. Again we will multiply this with the second attempt that means in the second attempt if we picked one white ball already that means there will be six ball left total six balls will be left and total one ball will be left right so if we multiply this two probability we will get two by 42 remember for the first time we picked we thought about for the red balls and in the second time we thought about for the white balls so these events are not dependent on each other try to remember this now in case of blue balls so let's change the color at first in case of blue balls what will be the probability for the first attempt that is 2 by 7 Right? There are two blue balls, that means total favorable outcome is 2 and total possible outcome is 7 because there are 7 balls in the back. So these two, these all the events are not dependent on each other. Right? These are separate events for the red balls, for the white balls and for the blue balls. That's why I wrote 7. I didn't think, thought about, I didn't think about these, uh, for the red balls, we have picked one ball, that why, that's why I will write a, I will subtract one ball again in the in case of blue balls no things are not like this these events are separate these are completely different events right so in case of blue balls for the second time i'll write if one ball is crossed out then how many balls will be left there will be left only another blue ball. And total number of ball will be left six so this is two by 42 again now in the question it is asked that the, what is the total probability right the probability that both both balls are of the same color it might be red it might be white or it can be blue isn't it so what will be our next step we'll just sum up all this probability 2 by 42 and 6 by 42 again 2 by 42 we'll just sum up all this probability and we'll get our answer so let's sum sum up all this 6 by 42 2 by 42 and 2 by 42 the total probability will be 10 by 42 now think about it 10 and 42 are these co prime numbers in the question it is still that the fraction will be of two co prime numbers containing two co prime numbers in, in the denominator and then in the numerator the numbers will be co prime so if you don't know what is co prime let's uh, remember it and recall it again if suppose a and b are two numbers and if these two numbers are co prime that means there should be a common factor of these two numbers right so for example 2 and 6 is there any common factor Yes, there is a common factor and that is 2. That means we can divide it with 1 and we can divide the 6 with 3. Right. So, if there is co prime number, if there are co prime number, there should not be any common factor. So, we can write uh, 3 and 5 for ex as for example. There are not any, there is not any common factor for these two numbers, right. So these two numbers are co-prime. Now my question for you is are these two numbers are co-prime? Obviously not because we can divide 10 with 2 and we can divide 42 with again 2. 2 into 21 is 42, 2 into 5 is 10. So we get 5 by 21. Now tell me are these two numbers are co-prime are these two numbers co-prime 
yes these two numbers are co prime so we have got our answer that is a is 5 and b is 21 this is our answer you can see the probability that both balls are of the same color can be expressed as a by b where a and b are co primes and what is the value of a and b a is 5 and b is 21 okay i hope you understood this problem so thank you very much for listening very carefully and in future if any problem like this you come across i hope there shouldn't be any problem and using this uh, probability concept we'll try to solve more and more problem and things will get more clear by the time so thank you very much till the next stay fine